Um, this is technically illegal to seduce manatees over here at the boat ramp. I'm just putting it out there. I just want to let the the people know. Yeah, that's that's not a common practice. That's widely accepted in America. The seduction of manatees is not accepted here at the boat ramp. What's going on, man? Chicho, oye, ¿cuándo me vas a salir a secar en ese barco? Hasta mañana. ¿Mañana vas a salir? Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. <laughs> Dale, ¿hasta dónde van a Boca, Boca Chita? Sí. Bueno, que se divierten, guys. Julita and Alex, two amazing people. Um, Alex had done some restoration on that Grady White. Um, he was showing me the progress in the morning. I'll get coffee in the same place he gets coffee. And he'll show me the progress. And Speaking of progress and coffee and boats and restorations, Ozzy, my neighbor, which we did the video on the Tidewater on, Oof, you guys got to see that tide water now. You definitely have to see that tide water now. What's going on over here? Oh, they're showing the manatee. Um, yeah, big difference, guys. Oof, wait until you see the bottom of that boat. Woo, man. I'll tell you, he put in the work. But yes, amazing, amazing restoration. It's not every day. It's not every day yours truly asks for help, my friends. Alfred Montaner is saying, wait for it. But more than before, wait for it. We need, we need to get a viral video, guys. It's been a minute. We're gonna go ahead and film boats today, but stick around. You're gonna like to, to see what happens here on the, on the boat ramp. With the chit show. Wait for it. Oh my goodness. Anger management. Hmm. What's this all about? Oh, there's look who's there, guys. Let me show you guys who's over here. Um, where is he? Right there. Can you guys see him? Where do you go? There he goes. I know it's hard to see, but he's there. The good old Cuda. Dímelo. Que along. How? Go put him in, bro. Put him on. Put him on the father-in-law, bro. You, you got to have a peacekeeper on him. Por si acaso. Oh my goodness, guys. Wait for it. Oh boy. Yeah, imagine he's talking all that smack and all of a sudden he says, "Hey, wait. It's me on the chicho." I got I might pan quick to the right, guys. I mean, Oh boy, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's there's a chitch over here in the corner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh boy. Ah oh, man, he jumped off before. We we did we did have uh we did have hope guys. Oh let me tell you, um I think I, I think I can't ever use I don't think I could ever use anybody else's content ever again, guys. I put a video on YouTube. People thought that I was the one basically on the other side filming some bloop 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 about to happen and uh yeah it looks like the algorithm tapped into a whole new i don't know a whole new genre i know it's not my audience because my audience don't get i mean they're, they're clicking on the chit show um but yeah it was crazy the comment section was crazy um mind you if i was on the other side i, I would have obviously helped but right it was somebody that sent me the message and uh it was crazy they almost lost, lost the truck and daniel was actually filming on the other side so but because a lot of people were upset i said oh, i'm not just gonna put the other side of the video forget about it you know it is what it is so yeah guys the chit show has been absolutely interesting to say the least um but hey if i can get views 
uh, and people upset, I'd rather take that than no views and people happy. Just saying. Right? Because, I mean, we got to get views if we want to go ahead and grow the chicho. The actual title said, truck is going under. And then all of a sudden, the, 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 the virtue signal, the people who were virtue signaling were like, I can't believe, you know, this and that. And I'm like thinking, in my mind, I'm thinking, dude, you just clicked on a freaking video that shows a truck in distress and, and the title is basically insinuating it's going to go under. But you're willing to watch that, but I don't know, guy. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Boy, oh boy. I'm scared to talk now. Like, look, look at this list. That's strike three. Can I stay say strike three anymore? Uh oh. We lost it at the end. She ain't gonna have a strike four. Oh boy. Like, if this, like, look, now it's a shit show, right? But I, I can't talk. I can't, I can't comment, guys. Oh no. Damn it. Let's take a no commentary. Or do we bring AI Oliver back? AI Oliver, you guys like that one? Oh boy, he's got a little whiskey on there, a little whiskey throttle. Uh oh, she's gonna go for round five. We got some free spot style music in the background here with the flags going. So, oh boy, there it is, my friends. And I didn't tell you or say what was really on my mind because now I'm scared of my comment section. <laughs> Guys, listen, I appreciate all the feedback I do, whether I agree or disagree, that's a whole different story, but I do appreciate you guys. And and listen, if 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 the if the truck would have gone underwater, I can easily change the audio, you know. But there's always a backstory to a backstory, right? The people that were in that car have known me since I was 20 years old. So oh boy. So I know how they are and I know why the older dad said what he said because along, <laughs> along the way, he has been burned hardcore helping people. But I get it. Um, somebody, somebody in the comments section said, I was trying to be a boat ramp rescuer and it cost me $3,000 later when I messed up my transmission. Re reg uh, regardless, guys, if it were me, I would have helped. But um, it's, it was interesting to see that comment section. I don't know where that comment section came from, but I was really surprised. I would understand if like it went bloop, bloop, bloop and the guy's there crying for his truck, but nothing happened to his truck. Like literally nothing happened. Should be an interesting day. We got, we got Memorial Weekend uh, getting close. Oh boy, oh no, we got some Barcero music about to originate here on these boats here. Yeah, it was, um, it was, it was, it was funny to say the least. Oh boy. You know, it's funny, it's a funny scenario. You guys remember that car video? Um, um, the, the water sports car video that we just recently did? I had a similar uh, situation happen. Um, I was waiting for them to pull in the car, or whatever, prior to them getting there. And some a brand new boater. I'm telling you guys, this was his first, second day out. He was having problems with his shifting. I recommended that it wouldn't be good to to go out on the water. And um, he was kind of like panicked. He was with two ladies, and. Um, he didn't know how to back in his truck. Well, he, he probably, he would have gotten it after the fact. So, um, I offered to help him back in his truck. And then I realized it was stick, stick shift. And I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna bloop bloop. No, 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 it wasn't stick shift. I, I was just, I mean, it would have made a good story though. But the reality is I backed in and while I was in the truck, while I was in the truck, obviously not something I'm used to as far as the truck I was in. You know, I was like, dude, why am I doing this? I'm putting myself at so, so much risk, you know? Um, and, I, and I did, that, that thought did come to my mind. I backed it in quickly and, I, and I, I put the boat on, 
I helped him put the boat on, on the trailer. Now the trailer was falling apart. He, know, he knew that. And that was kind of one of the reasons why we had to pull the boat out. And so, look, I understood why the person didn't want to help. Um, personally, I would have helped. <laughs> and for the record, guy, the guy talking all the shit would have helped. But dad said, nah, nah, bro, this is going to cost me money, which is normally the case, right? As a parent, you're the one who always fixes your your kids F ups. Um, so, yes, but I do love those people, guys, and they're not bad people. Trust me when I tell you when uh, struggling 20 year old Alfred was trying to find his way. Those people carried me for many years um, and made sure that I was well and I will be forever grateful. You know, you know I remember I was, since I was 20, not well, since I was 18. I've been alone, right? As a kid. Oh boy, who is this? Oh, is this? Wait a second, look at this, this is a cat. People are, people are putting in the comments section, you're such a disgrace to the boating industry. And I'm like, dude, are you, are you really serious right now? Like, is this where we're at? Oh shoot, I got my feet wet, bro, damn it. So yes, um, check out that video, guys. It's, uh, look, because I know the backstory, it was kind of humorous to me when the father said what he said. And obviously I knew what had happened, you know, that nothing happened, so it was funny. It's funny when nothing, you know nothing happens. If something bad would have happened, I would have had a whole different opinion about it. Um, but look, in those scenarios, what I would, what I would recommend is stay in the car, windows down and keep your foot on the brake because he was at a, at a, at a quick moment about to lose that truck. And, that, and the person talking is a captain. So he knows, he knows how much of a risk he was at. So, so much so that he came out on that, on that same day on a boat and, um, I don't know, maybe I'll dox him over here. He's not gonna care. He was, uh, he was laughing about the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm gonna say. My feet are gonna get wet. Yes. All right, we might get them at the corner. He came in a little hot, so he might do it to himself over here at the boat ramp too. Oh boy. Oh no. Wow, that was a big, that was a big turn. What the hell just happened there, dude? Full 360 here at the fuck, uh, at the, f <laughs> oh no, he's gonna whiskey it. Oh, what are you doing? Dude, you're, dude, oh man, he's, he's gonna smash it. All right, and um, this guy has a trailer that you, um, Remove the boat backwards, guys. Wait for it! Damn it. Uh, that's what happens when you wet my feet at the boat ramp, guys. I curse the waters, and I don't let you dock the boat properly. Um, guys, don't go faster than what you want to hit the dock. All right, we got round two over here. Do we put the clown music yay or nay? I'm in water right now, standing on rocks, and I'm looking at a tiny screen with the hopes the Fred the Croc doesn't come in and sideswipe me and have a fat little Cuban sandwich. Oh no. All right, we got round two over here at the boat ramp. The question is, do we get a little tight? He's slowing it down a little bit. He doesn't want to do a 360 again. 
three sixties guys. Those are not seen. Those are like unicorns here at the boat ramp. These boats can do it. Oh boy. Then a hero comes along. Oh boy. But why are you going so fast, bro? Just chill. Alright, so he's in the center. So where is he gonna go? Oh boy. Oh, my auto line, guys. Oh boy. This, this guy's a super throttler, bro. Look at that. Super throttle. Oh, he got a hand. He got a hand. That guy and the other guy is going to do a tug of war with him. Now watch. That's a super throttler, bro. He's not going to let go of the throttle. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let it go, bro. Let it, let it go, bro. You're going to lose it. Oh, he prevented him from doing a 360 again. It's a dangerous world, my friends. And you just got to go to the boat ramp to witness it. Oh, boy. We got, we, we got a hero over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then a hero comes along with the strength to kill. Oh boy. Overcorrecting. Oh boy. Look at that. Look at that Silverado. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. This is bringing back um, Boynton. Yes. Oh boy. Guys, get ready for some chit cho. All right. Let's see how many. We got three attempts. Oh, oh, the overcorrecting. Oh, bro, please don't. Bro, the last time this happened to me, a 90-year-old man came out of the truck, and I felt terrible. I hope he's at least 80. 80 is the new 60, guys. And 90, 90, oh, boy. Uh-oh, I think he found it. He found it. He's going straight. He's going straight fast. And, uh, oh, he's, I think he found it. Oh, boy. Please don't be 90. Please don't be 90. Please don't be 90. Let's see. All right. Yes. He's happy as hell. He's happy as hell. Wait for it. He was happy as hell. Damn, he's got to go to the chitter. He was happy as hell. Welcome back, bro. How was the water? It's good. Was it a little choppy? Say again? A little choppy out there or no? Not too bad. Not too bad in the bay? So mostly guys on the bay, it's not too, too bad. When there's a lot of wind, it can get kind of, kind of nasty. But nothing like open ocean, right? Um, we got somebody coming in a little hot over here. I, I hear them coming in. Is that a diesel that I hear? Yeah, it sounds like a diesel. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, did you see see that? Did my camera get that? Um, yeah, it is a diesel. Uh, looks like a. S I don't want to mess it up. Hold on, hold on. Before, before I butcher the boat, I hate doing that. Oh, oh man, my knee just gave out on me, dude. That's wild. All right, so. It's it's a diesel, but I don't know what type of boat that is. All right, so we'll see. Oh boy, the chit show is happening here at the boat ramp. They um, they look like they've been having a lot of fun. Just saying, and they did not put sunblock. A hundred percent. All right, so Winona. Beach Haven, New Jersey. Hey, comment below if you're from Jersey. I was in Brick not too long ago. Remember Brick over there when we went over there and filmed uh, Point Pleasant Canal? We did that. I'm going this summer back over there, guys. For sure, 100%, I'm going to go back over there. Oh, boy. This guy doesn't... Um, um, I don't know. This guy doesn't give off the confidence vibe. But, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We'll see. Let's see what happens over here at the boat ramp. 
he's going nice and slow, which is, which is the, the goal. Those, that freeboard is so high, dude. That boat has to be super tippy. Damn it, we got shot killed. Shot killed, for sure. But it looks like he got it in good. He did, he did a good job. All right, well, oh my goodness. The manatee's on the other side too. Yeah, you see that, that freeboard would make me think that that boat is real tippy. And it, it sure is. Yeah, look, look at that. Hey, comment below, man. I want to know what boat that is. Maybe it's a boat from, uh, from the West Coast or I don't know. We'll see. All right, we got another boat coming over here. Let's see what we got with those Robalos. The Robalos! Oh man, I hope these people turn off the music over there, dude. I don't have the music on here the whole time. We got some good stuff coming to the boat right now. Wait for it! And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens now at the boat ramp. It's uh, Cobia. Looks like it's been worked on. Oh, what do you think, guys? All right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what the hell is above me, dude. Oh, man. There's two birds just fighting each other. Oh, shoot. It's a red bird and a black bird. What the hell? Sorry about that, guys. This is getting int interesting. Oh, beat down. Wow. Oh, there's a nest close by. What a beat down. You guys hear that? Hold on, hold on. Um, let me just leave this here. I want to see this beat down. Um, can I get a shot of the bird? No, not where he's at. Oh, look, look. Damn. Yo, this is so funny. There's a blowfish, a cuda. What the hell, bro? This guy's all the way in the water now. He's gonna get back in his water. Dude, that is wild. What a chicho. Oh my goodness. We got a shot killed, guys. Hardcore. Guys, you can't make this up. Oh, well, we'll get the shot we got. Pull off a touch. Oh, he pushes it off. He lost the bow. Boom. But they had their lines ready. Yeah. Oh, what a jump. What a jump. That was impressive, guys. The jump of faith. The pull of faith. And... That game is over. All right, guys. Well, listen up. I got to go. That is how you pull a boat out of the water. That's how you dock a boat. And if anybody says otherwise, don't believe them. At the boat ramp, there's always something crazy to happen. Alfred. My, oh, boy. This clip is not even over. What the hell happened? What happened now? You just lost. Dude, you, 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 you were just fine. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right, they're good. Alfred Montaner exiting the boat ramp. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Um, yeah, let's go. We're gonna have to have a little battle in the comment section. I'm ready. I'm, I'm waiting for all of you. 
every single one of you. I'm coming after everybody. Let's go. Comment section. I'll see you below. Let's go. Wait for it. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Let's see what you got. 